totally without hope one cannot live to live without hope is to cease to live and i believe there is a great deal of truth in these words in the difficult and often confusing world in which we live today hope for many people is something that seems to be in short supply the pandemic has caused a prop and turned our expectations upside down people were never prepared to meet the unexpected restriction of movement financial damages and the loss of their near and dear ones the pandemic has steadily sapped away the fear of what is to come next the distant thought of the dooms day suddenly looks so real and real in fact i would even go so far as to say that in a world of pain grief and sorrow of complex family relationships of problems at work alongside many other hardships of life causing sadness loneliness and depression hope for many people has died a death but hope i believe is one of the key christian attributes and one of the most important gifts we can give to the world today nothing brings hope back to life like easter for the easter message gives us hope in a complex world to face the uncertainties of future this special day never arrives without its refreshing reminder that there is life beyond this one true life eternal life glorious life those who live on the outside of hope need an injection of hope and easter certainly gives it the easter message is well known there is no need to prolong it complicate it or to explain or defend it the facts speaks for themselves jesus said he would be in the heart of the earth for 3 days and nights later he said he would suffer be killed and raised up on the third day betrayed by judas he was placed under arrest hurriedly pushed through several trials and declared guilty first of blasphemy and then of treason finally all the disciples left him and fled alone and forsaken he endured the horrors of crucifixion then he died before dawn on the third day a miracle occurred when astonished people visited the tomb that morning they found the stone rolled away and the body gone they were asked by angels why do you see the living one among the dead he is not here but he has risen just as he said i cannot fully explain all that happened on the first easter day in this short time but the simple fact is that there is something magnificent healing and reassuring about the easter morning hope and this hope in the resurrected christ silences the emptiness of our life our identity at this time of easter celebration is strengthened as we stand together and proclaim alleluia christ is risen he is risen indeed alleluia this hope can be with us every moment of our life 
the prayer of St. Patrick puts it into a much better perspective than I ever could. Christ be with me. Christ before me. Christ behind me. Christ in me. Christ beneath me. Christ above me. Christ on my right. Christ on my left. Christ where I lie. Christ where I sit. Christ where I arise. Christ in the heart of everyone who thinks of me. Christ in the mouth of everyone who speaks of me. Christ in every eye that sees me. Christ in every ear that hears me. Salvation is of the Lord. Salvation is of the life. Salvation is of the Lord. Salvation is of the Christ. May your salvation, O oh Lord, be ever with us. Amen. A hope transfusion awaits us. It happens every Easter Sunday. Make sure you don't miss it this year. It's guaranteed to change your life with every blessing in Jesus' precious name. Wish you all joy and happiness of the risen Christ. Thank <laughs> you.